you know how we we know that there's some like missing history in our timeline like the past just it don't add up sure. well apparently uh somewhere around 150 to 200 years ago there was like a thermonuclear like war so to speak and and it could have been something that it could have been a natural cataclysm it might not have been man-made but man has something to do with it and there was a um there was a flood of mud and sediment that covered pretty much the, the world like all the major cities and if you go especially over where you are uh in, in UK and, and, and Paris and France, a lot of the structures, you'll see buildings where there's a half a window on the on 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 the street. And if you dig down, you're looking at the top of a building. So like we're part of a reset. Right, right. There's a reset that took place about 150 years ago. And if you look at pictures, like look at Egypt in in the 1800s the 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 sphinx was covered the pyramid was cut was almost to the top with yeah. all this sand and mud and it was here in the u.s it was over in london it was in certain areas of africa and you know the elite they took advantage of the cataclysm and that's why they're so far ahead because we suffered a whole like human reset now, Tataria is an ancient civilization that's right next to y'all. We know it today as India and Asia and Siberia and Russia, but that used to be an empire called Tartary. And they were global, they were worldwide. There's uh, futuristic architecture, futuristic technology, and they're on the maps. They're on the maps, they're in the history books, but we were never told about them. Mm -hmm. So. I would suggest you start looking up Tartary and looking up the mud flood. And I think, I think it's going to blow you back, brother. You're going to be like, <laughs> what the hell have I been doing with my life? <laughs> it's uh, right in front of, it's been right in front of our face the whole time. And we just, you know, just, we just ain't looked directly at it, but yeah, Tartary and the mud flood, look that up. Whole, we had a whole we had a whole like our old world was the future mm -hmm. like Wakanda would be one of the best examples of Tartary like right right we was living like that and then a cataclysm came and now we're like we think we in the future but we really like cavemen compared to what that. we was on before yeah that's good so, and what happened 150 years ago you're saying just well you can look you could actually look at Wikipedia and there was a, uh, a volcano eruption in Indonesia that took place mm -hmm. that was so powerful that it created something called the year without summer. They called it that in America. And then in your history books, if you look, y'all had short little ice ages, um, mm -hmm. 1690 mm -hmm. something, 1743, that's when, uh, Ireland froze over and was just ice. And then y'all had another one in 1815, the same year as this volcano. So globally, <laughs> globally in America, Europe, all over, the temperature dropped substantially. There were no crops. The sun was blocked out. This is, it's, it's on Wikipedia, it's in the history books and everything. They just say it's a volcano. But other sources says, no, there was a nuclear event that took place. Right. To kind of like, um, you know, if, if you know there's going to be an earthquake or something like that's coming and you hit it with some type of direct energy weapon, you could turn it into more than what it is. And then when everybody dies and everything is in chaos and you got your whole thing set up that you can come as a savior, like, oh, you know, da, da, da. then you got to look up the orphan trains of the UK and America, which was also in the late 1800s, where you got, y'all had... 600,000 children, orphans, where, where the parents at? Mm -hmm. Put on trains and used to repopulate the world. Sure, sure. It's That's what Harry say. Potter is. That's right. Ain't yes, more kids on the train, right? Mm -hmm. Getting sent away. That's right. Yesterday I was reading and looking at the, um, the influx or the killing of the witches, you know, the Salem's lot, you know, the right. stuff that happened throughout Europe. 
And um, ironically, I found out that the first witch, I'm not sure how common knowledge is, that was accused in Salem's um, attacks was a woman of indigenous Caribbean or and or African descent. Of course. She and, was an herbalist, more than likely. Right. And um, when you fast forward to the here and now, they was bringing it to, relating it to the, the pirates, used to come in from the, the Moorish empires as well as the Vikings and so forth. But what they were saying is that they was capturing the urchins. Ah, so, you know, yeah. like in addition to the witches and stuff, there was this whole movement about the urchins. So, you know, first I'm thinking sea urchins, like that was, that's the first right, right, download that's I got. I'm thinking about right now too. Yeah, I'm like urchins. And then when I went down to Google, ur urchins were young children. You know, these raggedy young children. There was a big trade, there was a big trade in capturing these young children. And Peter Pan. <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Peter, Peter, best Peter Pan's about, right? Snatching little kids up, Never Never Land, Captain Hook. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So like you said, it's in the history books, man. It's like- Yeah, man, it's, man. It's, look up orphan trains, bro. Look up, like, look up Tartary. Look, it's it's all, everything's there. They just, they straight rewrote history only a hundred. This is, this the whole crazy jump we're in now where we like, well, you, man, really this don't make no sense. It's literally 150 years old, bro. It just happened. I feel it. I feel you. I feel it. I totally can feel you on that one. <laughs>